generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we planned off the bottom left hand side which is our criminally insane area. I'll go over to planning to give it a bit more contrast so you can see a bit better and as you can see we have a lot of walkways around the multiple buildings we have. In terms of the building layout from the intended entrance although we'll come back to that in a moment across the bridge we have a small security room just for uh well security and it's a bit like an airlock to stop people just running across it and blitzing out of the facility down the bottom we have the padded cells so these are all going to be laid off to be padded cells and that sort of thing i'm not yet sure what we're going to have inside it but we'll have to see how we get on on the right hand side we have some treatments so one two three four psychiatrists there and i've put the uh rooms quite large so we can improve them with like uh, the rotor charts and all that sort of thing and whatnot we have a couple of areas that are free this is the intended yard this was i said shower but i think this might end up being the shower and then this will probably become a common room and this is whatever we need it to be so maybe more treatment this might become more treatment i haven't yet decided because it is actually an unknown in terms of uh, going back to the intended entrance comment now the bridges are still a little bit dodgy although i think i've figured out roughly what the well i know what the problem is the pathfinder don't work <laughs> um I don't know what the root cause of that is, though. It seems that if there is no... There you go. We've just had a janitor come straight across without any issues. It seems that if there is absolutely no other way across a bridge, then the staff will not take it. They will just glitch out. You've seen them when they were on this wall here just bouncing against the edge. That was in the last episode. Um, if there's no other way across it, then they just really go haywire. It doesn't like it at all. However... This works okay, and once we put this in, they happily use that bridge. It seems if there's another way in, they will happily use the bridges, because if that's the shortest route, they will take it, no problem. They'll still use this one, uh, but they then don't prefer, they just prefer the shortest route rather than uh, glitching out and doing other stuff. So as long as there's another way into these areas, they will happily take it. So hopefully that'll get fixed sooner rather than later. Either way, in this episode, we are going to be intaking some prisoners. As you can see, we do have minimum, uh, 20 minimum security prisoners uh, arriving shortly. I'm just going to remove all that planning there. We do have a total of 10 guards, so that is more than enough for our needs. We have some people in the infirmary. We have some cooks, but I don't have enough in there. I actually need to add some more fridges. As a, as a priority, I'm going to, as soon as uh, the prisoners turn up, I'm going to get some more stuff added. I'll place that there and that there because we have them. And there is our cash flow. And why is that light there? That shouldn't be able to be in that wall. I'm going to dismantle that. And we can see now our first intake of prisoners. So informants, uh, no, we don't have any traits that we uh, are aware of. So we can see we're all getting the prisoners. Uh, there's Prisoner Park there in uh, Jiwu JW Park. We have Ed Rogers, Scott Brindley, Matt Steele, the Istanbul Butcher. Interesting. Damon and... Sadly, as far as I can tell, no feather storm. So, uh, snitch and quick. Ah, so there we go. Aston... <laughs> Aston Martin! <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so, to be fair, Aston Martins are normally quite quick. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> Uh, they are a snitch, so that's a problem. Uh, they can be targeted by other inmates. The chance of them being targeted by low-risk prisoners is very low and to be fair i don't have enough money to build the protective custody area anyway so um just gonna have to deal with it so as you can see the inmates are doing the typical which is uh, getting brought in and then they're going to be searched you can see the metal detectors are already uh pin for themselves because they are going off they're going to get searched and that reminds me policy so uh, lockdown for all of this stuff. We need lockdown for everything because we currently don't have solitary. It's something that I just didn't uh, really plan off in any particular area. I think solitary might be around here, but I just went, eh, we'll see how we go. Uh, maybe around here as well. There's loads of spare, uh, spare space for it. But while they're doing that, let's go over to fridge and then one, two, and then one, two, and then one, two. We'll go over to cookers and then straight across like so. And that should be all of the cookers that are required. We also need to hire some more cooks, but I really don't have enough. So let's go over to our grants and increase our bank loan just a little bit in order to get one, two, 
mm, three, four cooks extra. So, you can see that we have all of these people in there. Danger level is going up. 16 prisoners have been unnecessarily searched recently. That is just their opinion. Uh, you can see that the guards are prefer uh, taking them up here and are going to escort them to their cells, which um, is currently problematic to go into because... Oh, hang on. What was that? Did I clone that? Uh, I want to lock that open, and I want to lock all of these open as well. I know it is possible to designate these as locked open from the deployment screen you can just say unlocked and it unlocks all of the rooms i just prefer to do it that way just because it's manually choosing the doors that is fine that is fine that doesn't actually have a door because i was going to place it on the far right but quite frankly i'm just going to put the door back in for this point in time that's all set up those are fine that's staff door that's staff door that's all staff doors they're all good that's all right. That is going to be locked open. It currently doesn't serve a purpose, so I can easily put it there. Uh, that one is the same. It doesn't have a purpose yet, so I can leave it as is. Actually, I'll probably lock it open, so if the gardener needs to go in there, they can uh, do that as well. So that's probably the way forward. Just double checking. I'm going to change that to staff only. Might as well. All that can be staff only. Uh, that's staff only, so is that. Going around, checking all of these rooms. It should be staff only. And... That is okay. So what I'm going to do now is go to the visitors direction, which strangely is in a purpley colour, which the purpley colour is now staff only. Why there's not parity there, I don't know, but hey-ho. Uh, we're going to bring the staff in here, and then they're going to... Sorry, this is the uh, visitors only. Then the staff will come along, and then in, and then down, and then across, and then out of the facility, like that. That was my original intention. Um, I'm not going to do that because it'll have some problems with this area down here. So instead what happens is that we have it coming from there, like that, and then this comes down and stops to there. So when they come in, they'll go there, prefer to go that way, in and round that way, and then they prefer if they're going out, uh, hopefully that way rather than through the front door. But we'll see just how that goes. A danger level is massively going up, which is concerning. We can see that we do have some needs there, but uh, that's, that's slowly getting sorted now. That large jail door, I will have to deal with. I'm going to go to deployment and to patrols. We're going to have a... Actually, can I not just do it from here? Assign guards. I'm going to assign a guard to there. That is fine. In terms of patrols, I do want a dog patrol around here. I'm not going to have people patrolling inside. Mainly because we don't have the staff and because we don't have the... We don't actually have any particular reason to patrol inside now because we don't need the line of sight because we've turned that off. Uh, we'll say a dog handler, which will go on there. We will have a, a blue patrol in here. So we are going to patrol in the kitchen. And, actually, do I even need to patrol? Not particularly. You can see that the guards are happily wandering around inside there themselves. Um, I will just not assign a patrol. I will just assign a guard to that. There you go. Okay. So we have most of it working and I'm happy to say that the cooks are coming down here and favouring this area apart from that cook there which is happily going that way for some reason anyway it seems to be functioning nobody's left yet <laughs> right okay so money it's still a problem we have a bit of a bank loan on the go. However, we can sell some shares. Selling shares is not good for us because even just selling 10% of our shares will only give us 11 grand. Which is not much at all. Oh, I should also point out, there's our dog patrol. <laughs> um, yes. It's not not really a dog, is it? It's uh, more of a kitty cat. And, well, apparently they do like smelling. Not found anything either. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, we will uh, max speed it out and see if the prisoners... Why is that there? 
One prisoner unable to be assigned to a cell. End punishment. That's all it is. It's just they had some contraband on them and they were assigned just before. Sadly, I changed the uh, designation of them. That's all it is. That's all it is. So, we have this all working. We can see that the canteen is stocked with the ingredients. So, the... The, the, the kitchen that is in the center, it's not next to the canteen like it normally is, is working perfectly fine. That's exactly what we wanted to see. So the question is, where do we go from here? Well, I'm going to go to planning and walls. We can see that 40... Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Let's go for that size. 30, uh, 42 by 32. All right, so 42 by 32. This is going to be a two, and that's not going to fit in. So just checking out the sizes of those, if we just had that in a row, we could have, we could have another four. But what we could do is have it 42 by 32 and then change the orientation. So 32, height, 42 there. And that. And then that. Could do something like that. The immediate question is why? Why would we change it? Well, it makes it look differently, and the idea was to put some more space between them. But that just looks organised disorganisation. <laughs> As in, I've already made the... I wouldn't say the perfect area here. It's far from it. I've already made the area that works and then decided to replicate that in an imperfect way, very regimented. So what we'd have to do instead, if we we're going to do the rotation, is go where it starts there. So 42 by 32 would be there. And then we'd have this on here, 42 by 32. And then, say there. Oh, is that an overdose? I think it is. 42 by 32 and have it just a bit all over the place um, and then we'll have more green spaces in between I'm not confident that's the way to go I'm really not can I fit one here actually yeah we could could easily easily fit one in there um, in fact it's almost fits in Perfectly. Like that. Almost fits in perfectly. Don't know if we'll do that. It's unlikely that we will. But there we are. Anyway, uh, so we do, did have an overdose there. Looks like they're being brought straight here and uh, being treated, which is excellent. The question is where did they get their stuff? Now, it can't be flung over the wall. And it wasn't smelt on them. And we do have metal detectors... In here, so the chances are then it's been smuggled in and we didn't detect it. So we're going to go to deployment patrols. Blue patrol doesn't really matter what colour we have, uh, but we'll have them. Ah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. We're going to have them patrolling around like so, but also I'll put these lines in the centre so they'll randomly take these paths you see, and then we'll assign a dog handler like that. So they'll randomly take uh, these paths. They'll just go around where they can. Uh, that not being locked open is a problem, so I'm going to lock that open, same as that one there. And I want to see what happens with these. So, place your bets now. Yes, they did go that way. Although, to be fair, that is the shortest way out, so maybe maybe it doesn't really matter about these uh, patrols that we've set up. So, we have prisoners in here. We have... 
daily cash flow not very good at all. So in order to get more prisoners, we need another cell block. Or we need more money. In order to get money, we have three grants on the go. We have Criminally Insane Wing. We have... Which you only get paid for by just not only just building the wing, but also hiring uh, people as well as getting Criminally Insane members here. We have Maxic Infrastructure, which has increased the size of the security force. That's unlikely to happen. We also need tasers and CCTVs and stuff. That's that's very doable, but then we need to place it somewhere. And Yeah, I haven't yet decided. Oh, speaking of uh, buildings and stuff, I'm going to remove that. Uh, and I'm going to uh, dismantle all of this because having this here is just a security risk. So there we are. And then prisoner capacity. Now, prisoner capacity is realistically the one we should probably go for because having it in here would probably work out uh, in along here because not only do we get the more prisoners we also gain the grant so I'm thinking of placing four of those in this in, in a line along here but I want to have a gap so double check in the size 42 tall by 32 I've put a temporary gap of four in but it's actually a gap of six in total. Yeah? Because I'm going to put a bit of green space in there. Still. Still so much space there. Okay. Right. Um... So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, 32 by, 42 by 32, 42 by 32, 42 by 32, that all goes in, like that, those four. We'll have the walkways going across, lots of green in between them, shrubberies, trees, make it look quite nice. Although remember... That we're only having actually because uh, oh no that is fine yeah because we'll have the pathways across there and then lots of green in between uh, we still have this slightly wrong because I've only measured off that 42 by 32 whereas actually we'll have the pathways down here won't we so we're not going to have much green space We've got this over here that's wasted as well. Now, I was originally going to have the, this extended across to there and have buildings there for visitors, but that's what this is for. So this actually doesn't matter. So instead, what I'm going to do is double-check the complete OD. 46 by 36. Gap 4. Right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, so how much have we got left? Eight. On that case, then. And also, that's five. <laughs> okay. Well, it's six on each, then, isn't it? Six. I think that's the right size. I'll double check. Forty six by thirty six. Forty six by thirty six. Gap of six. I know actually this extends down to there. I'm already counting that because it's that 46 by uh, 46 by 36, whereas this will be a bit smaller. Yeah, 44 by 36, but it'll actually go down to there because I'm I'm already this, the the thing's already in. And six, which will leave this like that, which is a gap of one extra towards that side. Um. So in that case then, what I'll do 
I'll measure it from that side instead. Like that. By six. Say six. Yeah. And we have this large bit in the centre. Okay, that actually changes things. Because we've got so much space, solitary could go here. But I don't think I'm going to do it. I think that is fine. So, one, two, three extras. Same, it's, it's this just copied. Um, I'm hoping that, I'm hoping the dimensions are, the, are correct. But, that's roughly what we'll have. The other option is to shrink it down a little bit. On either side. So only have maybe a gap of two between them. And then we'll have a larger area in the centre for... Why were they going over there? Don't say that we have this too close to the edge. Oh, we have a problem. We have a big problem. Thrown in. It's... It's... 12 from the edge. Stuff can only be thrown in 10 from the edge. It's exactly there. Twelve. That means that this entire facility doesn't work. I'm going to check that up. One moment. Okay, after careful consideration and looking at varying sources, different wikis, forum posts, some of which are quite dated. Now, I have determined that I have no idea why that is a thing. Thing. Now, as you can see, these are uh, set up so we can see the different uh, the different regions. If I go to deployment, that is definitely set to staff only. The issue is that the maximum thrown distance is definitely 10 spaces. And from there, that's already 10. It's 11 there. It's actually going too far. What might happen, though, is because this has got the... The way it works is it, it's thrown in from the furthest edge of the prison. Because we've got this, the water there, the water might be, like, cancelling it off, for lack of a better term. So, it, like, it's saying that actually the calculation starts from this edge, but then can be actually this edge... Because there's this water bit, and that 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 bit there is technically like not behind a fence. So if we fence that off, and like sort of fence that off like so, then it, it's then it wouldn't count it. But I don't know why that's a thing. Um, the solution, I don't know actually what it, that is either, because I don't know how it's calculated in the first place. Either way, this is a big problem. It means there's going to be a lot of contraband brought in. We can shrink this wall down. If I wanted to, I could easily put the wall along here and increase the size of it. Another option as well is to do that. Put a wall across here and set that up bit to staff only, but it's not that bit that's the problem, it's this edge. It does say a maximum of 10 squares and it's actually 12 to the edge, so I thought that was completely acceptable. Apparently it wasn't, or it's a bug, or it's been changed in later versions, or to do with this. I don't know. All the above, none of the above. I'm not too sure what's happening. So for the time being, we are going to leave it there. Hmm. Hit and miss. We've got some prisoners. It's starting to look nice. But we've already determined that the bridges are knackered. <laughs> under some circumstances. And contraband is now being thrown in. So this is all kinds of bad. Next episode, we'll go ahead and try to fix what is broken. I do stress try. I'm not too sure how to fix it. And I'm not too sure what price we have to pay in order to, in order for it to be fixed. Experiments, perhaps, are forthcoming. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings. <laughs>